Okay, diamonds, here we are back. Uh, I am your teacher, Usman Ali, lecturer at Cardan University. Uh, today we're gonna uh, talk about uh, non-inventory parts that how to create one and for what purpose actually they are used. Now, let me give you a scenario here. Uh, non-inventory parts are actually those inventory items which we do not want to keep track of. We do not want to do trackings for these things actually. Like what? If let us suppose I had a I had a shop and inside that shop uh, I just provide some services specifically, maybe uh, repair services to computer. I'm just an engineer, and I just do these technical things of uh, repairing it, fixing your computer. I don't have any uh, any motherboard, any RAM, any such things in my shop. And you brought your computer to me and you said that please fix this computer for me and I, I, I opened your uh, casing of your computer and I saw that there was A, B, C, two, three things were damaged in your computer, whatever they were. And then I said that man, these things are damaged and uh, what I will do is that, that I will go to my uh, neighboring shop and I will purchase these, these things from my neighboring shop because they, they used to sell it. I will bring it and I will put that in your computer and then whatever charges comes, I will bill you for that thing. If that's the case, so maybe your RAM in your computer is damaged, maybe your motherboard is damaged, maybe your hard disk is damaged, maybe your power supply is damaged, maybe any of a small chip is damaged. So I will buy that chip from someone else. I don't have that in my inventory. I will buy it and I will use that in, in, in your computer to fix it. Okay? And then I will bill you for that thing because I had paid my neighbor, my neighboring shop. Uh, that when I purchase it from him I paid him maybe I buy from my neighboring shop at a different price and I sell it on a different price in such a case if, if, if that's the story so the best option for me is actually to create a non inventory item because if I'm showing some profits earned I should show quick book that from where these profits are coming actually so let's suppose the inventory item here is that which I don't have in my shop I'm just saying uh, let's suppose it is power cable one was power supply this is power cable. I don't have those black power cables or laptop chargers. Maybe that's the product. So that's that's the non-inventory item. Let let me give it a manufacturing a number. You you know that actually what a manufacturing uh, number is, okay? Uh, because of the inventory part video. Then the unit of measurement. I will measure it by each quantity. One power cable, two power cable, three power cable. Okay. On what price I will sell this power cable on you? Let's say I will sell it on twenty dollars on you. Okay. And when I receive this twenty dollar, so what I want to do here? Uh, I I want QuickBook actually to record this twelfth dollar in sales of hardware. If okay. Then again, uh, if you remember our previous uh, video of uh, service item, this item is used in assemblies or is purchased for a specific customer job. If, if it is, I will click on uh, this option. And if let us suppose if I purchase it for a specific customer and for a, uh, from another shop actually, the example which I give you earlier at the start of the video. So maybe I purchased this power cable on $10 from a neighboring shop and I sell it on you on 12. So two would be my dollars, uh, would be my profit, and in percentage, it would become 20% markup percentage. Now, when I pay my neighboring shop $10, I want my QuickBook actually to expense an account here. That would be my cost of goods sold account. There, CGS. And preferred yander, we will discuss it very shortly. Okay, so this is how to create inventory, non-inventory part, sorry. Now here let's let's talk about some differentiating point of inventory part and non-inventory part because we have studied both of the videos now. So non-inventory parts one are uh, those parts of which we do not want to keep track of one. Second the reason can be that we don't have that in our shop and we take it from someone else and then we sell it on you. That's non-inventory part. Inventory parts are those uh, those items inventory items which we want to keep track of and these things are present in my shop. So if you remember the inventory part video, we have RAMs in my shop, I had uh, uh, motherboard in my shop, I had CPU in my uh, casing in my shop, I had CPU in my shop, I had uh, power supply in my shop, but I'm not having any power cable in my shop. So this power cable, I used to buy it from my neighboring shop and then I sell it on my customers. For that, I will create a non-inventory part. So non-inventory part are not a part of my balance sheet. Thank you very much. I hope you liked the video.